Hey folks, this is Pete, and we're doing Pete's Eats Techniques cooking videos. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fillet a pickerel, or some people call it a walleye. It's really easy, so let's get to it. What you're going to need to do this is I like to stack up a nice pile of newspaper. You're going to need a knife. Now, you're going to need a fillet knife that's got a nice thin blade, and it's got to be sharp, but you don't want it razor sharp. You want it just sharp enough, but not too sharp. And of course you need a fish. You can catch a fish, you can buy a fish, whatever. But you'll see how easy this is. So let's begin. Okay, so before we get begin, I want to uh, make sure you understand a few things. First of all, this is a pickerel and it has scales. And so if you want to leave the skin on this fish when you cook it, you have to remove the scales. And you would do that by getting a knife, maybe not as sharp as this, a duller knife, and just moving it back against the scales and getting all of these scales off. I like to take the skin off, so I'm not going to worry about the scales. You'll see I'll skin it later. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut down through the flesh, but we only want to go, there's a scale right there, uh, we only want to go as far down as the backbone. The backbone runs up along this dorsal fin, and that's the reason I really don't want a knife that's too sharp, because I don't want to cut through that backbone. I just want to cut down to the backbone, and then move the knife to the side and slide it along the backbone right to the tail. So that's why you don't want a knife that's too sharp, because it'll just cut right through that backbone and you'll mess everything up. Now rather than cutting straight like this at the head, I do like to cut a little bit on an angle because you got all this meat up here up top and I don't want to lose out on that. So I'm going to cut up like this and then slide that knife along the backbone. I'm going to use that backbone as a guide physically, but I'm also going to watch here to see that I don't cut through. I'm going to try and keep that knife on the top side of this dorsal fin and I'm going to just move it all the way through the back, okay? So let's begin. Uh, oh, also, you may want to cut from the throat down to the anus and just make a slit all that way if you want. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can, if, they, if you feel that's, uh, that's easier. So let's begin. I'm going to cut. And you see how I'm going to move around to get through the back. And now I'm right at that backbone. I can see that backbone. So I'm going to just slide my knife all the way along, trying to keep as close to that backbone as possible, but I don't want to cut through it. So here we go, cutting along, cutting along, cutting along, not going through it, cutting along, cutting along, cutting along, and cutting along. So here's my first nice fillet that I just cut off, okay? You see, I did clip the backbone a bit there. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to remove these ribs, that's the next step, and we're also going to take off the skin. But I'm first going to fillet the other side. So, I'm gonna... so you can see that I've cut the two fillets out and all I've got left is that backbone running all the way through the tail. That really came out nicely. What I do is I like to have the layers of newspaper and as I'm done with each layer, I just wrap it up. I got a fresh layer underneath and I'm ready to go with the next step. Okay, so what I want to do next is I want to take out these ribs. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and slide my knife under and take them off. Of course, near the bottom here, that's sort of the fatty part of the fish. And it's actually good to get rid of that because sometimes contaminants can accumulate there. So just slide your knife under these ribs and keep it as close as possible and just shave it off. Okay, and don't worry too much about uh, how much meat you might uh, end up sacrificing here, okay? So you see how I'm just trying to cut under these ribs and I'm trying to keep up close to them. Uh, I'm not worrying too much about it. And, uh, and away we go slowly. Of course, this is where a little bit of care and a sharp knife is important. Oh, that's really coming out nicely there. Uh, that's coming out a bit not as nice, but oh well, there you go. And I'm not gonna worry, so that's good enough. And I'm just gonna cut through that hopefully. There we go. And there's one fillet ready to be skinned to take. Okay, so this part can be a little bit tricky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try and take this skin off. And again, you don't want your knife too sharp because you don't wanna cut through the skin or else it's a big mess. Uh, the other thing I do wanna mention is that uh, you'll notice I'm not washing the fillets. I'm waiting till the very end to do that. Just leave them the way they are. You don't wanna wash them too many times, if at all. Some people claim you shouldn't wash them all. So here we go. I'm going to start just a little bit about a half an inch from the end and I'm going to do a little cut so that I can hang on to that piece and I'm going to move this knife down along the skin at the bottom, okay? Sometimes I even like to, once I get going, grab the skin and pull the fillet kind of towards me as I'm, as I'm cutting. 
And of course, you can do better or worse at this depending on how close you can get to the skin. There we go. And now we're done. The skin is on one side. You see, I came a little bit close there, but that's fine. The skin is left behind and the meat is right here, a beautiful filet. So one of the last things you wanna do is just sort of inspect the filets. You can see here, I've got a little bit of skin left. So I'm gonna just take that off uh, carefully, really nicely and easily. And if I recall correctly, I think on the back side here, yeah, there's a little bit of bone, backbone that I guess I cut through when I was doing the when I was doing my initial cut. Now, of course, on many fish, especially the bigger fish, there are these pin bones and you can feel them when you run your finger, you'll feel these tiny bones, pin bones, and they run uh, not so much near the end, but up at the top, you'll feel these pin bones. And if you're a stickler, what you'll wanna do is get a pair of tweezers and you can pull them out one by one. Uh, by and large, sometimes they disintegrate in a smaller fish like this when cooking, and you don't have to really worry about them too much. Oh, here's a little bit. I don't want this skin here either from the belly section, so I'll just cut that out, and I'll give them a quick inspection. Some people believe that you shouldn't wash the fillets. You should just wipe them with paper towels, and that retains the best taste, and cook them just like that. Other people do feel you have to, you know, feel the need to wash them. But there you go. There are two absolutely beautiful pickerel fillets, and I think we could fry them up for lunch. Bon appétit.